Hey guys, welcome back to Penguin and Barry. And today we are going to be talking about the rise of the resistance. It's and everything that you need to do to make sure that you can get on it. So my family recently went to Disney World and I decided to make a cute little a mini Disney series just of tips and tricks and things that I found helpful uh, to me at the park because there is so much that goes into planning a Disney vacation and I just want to be there to just kind of give you those extra tips and tricks. Rise of the Resistance. Oh my goodness, it's incredible, it's amazing, but it is so complicated. They make it so complicated in order for you to get onto the ride. The first thing that I would definitely say uh, helped us is you need to download the My Disney Experience app. If you don't have this app, you will not be able to ride the ride. Let me say that again. If you don't have this app, you won't be able to ride the ride. So the very first thing you need to make sure is that you have the My Disney Experience app downloaded and ready to go. It's really easy, just go to your um, app store, just get it, it's free. And then you just log in with all of your Disney information. The next thing that you are going to need to do is you have to make sure that you have a valid parks admission for that day. Right now, Disney is going off of a reservation system. And so if you do not have a reservation for Hollywood Studios for the day that you're trying to book the Rise of the Resistance, you also will not be able to get a boarding group. So definitely make sure that you have the My Disney Experience app downloaded and that you have a park reservation for Hollywood Studios, okay? If you have those two things, then you are off to a great start. I believe in you. The other thing that you need is on the My Disney Experience app, you need to make sure that you are connected to all of your friends and family that are gonna be with you um, for that day. And it's uh, pretty easy to make sure everyone's connected. If you just go into the app, you're able to add people. So just make sure that you and your kids and grandma and grandpa and uncles and aunts or your best friend, you guys are all added together in the My Disney Experience app. And this is important because when you go to join the ride, it'll add everyone that's already your family and friends in the app automatically. So that's why that part is really, really important. Okay, so the next thing that I have for you is something that you really need to remember and to realize is that boarding groups for this ride are only available two times a day. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. They're only available two times a day. So you need to be on top of this. The two times that they are currently available as of June 22nd, 2021 is 7 a.m. and 1 p.m. You just gotta remember, 7 a.m., 1 p.m., 7 a.m., 1 p.m., 7 a.m., 1 p.m. Okay, those are your only two chances. Um, you can only get one boarding group per day. So let's say that you wanna tread the ride twice couldn't really do that uh, unless you have a baby swap, but I'll get into that in a different video. <laughs> All right, but don't worry about that right now. You can only ride the ride once. So if you get the boarding group at 7 a.m., you cannot reapply for the boarding group at 1 p.m. Okay, so now that we've kind of gone through some housekeeping rules on how to get a boarding group, we're gonna get into actually some tips on how to get it. So the very first thing that I would recommend doing is whether you're staying at a hotel, an Airbnb, or anywhere, you need to run an internet speed test. You need to make sure that you have good Wi-Fi or good internet. If you run that internet speed test and you do not have good Wi-Fi or good internet, then you are going to want to just switch to your cell phone data. This is very important especially if you're staying on Disney property, because I've heard that lots of people have really struggled with the hotel Wi-Fi and everything, uh, because everyone is all of a sudden on it at 7 a.m. in the morning, and they kind of overwhelm it. Now, my experience was unique because we ran the Wi-Fi test, and honestly, it seemed like it was 
it was working great. And so I actually just stayed on the uh, hotel Wi-Fi. We stayed at Art of Animation. We were in the Little Mermaid section and I just stayed on the hotel Wi-Fi and we actually got it. That isn't always the case though. I would just run an internet speed a speed test and just see how the Wi-Fi is. Or if you have really, really good data and you know you have really, really good data, then just do that. But whatever one you prefer, just make sure that you that either one is like really strong and you have a really good connection. Right at 7 a.m. or right at 1 p.m., these things are gonna sell out so fast. So you have to log into the app and you need to be refreshing the page um, constantly starting at like 6.58. So what you're going to do is when you're ready, so I, so if I wanted to get the 7 a.m. one, what I did, this is exactly what I did, is I set an alarm for 6.45 so that I was able to wake up, uh, take a few minutes to kind of like get my bearings together. Um, I logged into the My Disney Experience app. I scrolled down to where I saw um, Galaxy's Edge, Rise of the Resistance, uh, and it says join queue. So I pressed join queue and then starting at 6.58, I just started to continuously um, refresh that page. And how I refresh it is I just pulled down and you see the little thing going swirl, 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 just saying that it's reloading. And I just um, continued doing that. And then um, right at seven o'clock, what happens is it goes from that page and it lets you enter the virtual queue and um, it gives you the option to select your family and friends. This is important. You do not have to individually select them. It will automatically do it. So don't waste your time selecting them. As long as your friends and family are in the My Disney Experience app, you don't have to go in and individually select them. So don't worry about that. Just bypass that and just keep refreshing. And then as soon as you're able to press join, just keep pressing join. Then hope that you get it. In our experience, uh, I was able to get it uh, just by doing those things, just by ignoring, selecting everyone, and it automatically just added everyone and we were able to get on. But I know if I would have taken the time to individually select everyone, I don't think we would have gotten it. So you just gotta be fast, you just gotta press join as fast as you can as soon as it lets you. All right, my other tip that I would give, I don't know if this is true or not, but this was just told to me, but it's easier to get Rise of the Resistance on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday than it is to get it on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, or Monday. The reason this is, is because Disney World is usually most busy on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday because people do extended weekend stays. It's just rumored that it's easier to get out on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because they have more availability. Like I said, I don't know if that's really true or not, but that was just something that was told to me. So I did make sure to schedule our Hollywood Studios day on a Tuesday. And so that might have also contributed to the fact of how we were able to get it. But like I said, I don't know if that's true or not. That was just something that was told to me. So that is the other thing that I would do um, as a piece of advice for ya. Well, I think that's all of the advice that I have for ya. And I wish you the best, the best, the best, the best of luck. I hope that you get on the ride because that would be so awesome. And it's an amazing ride and Disney is magical. But remember, even if you don't get on the ride, it's okay because there's so many other things to do and there's the other Star Wars ride that you can ride um, as well that you don't have to get into the virtual queue for. Uh, just don't let it ruin your day and still go have fun. But anyways, I hope these tips are helpful. I, I can't guarantee that you will get in, of course, if you follow these, but those are what we did and it helped us and we were able to get in and that was our experience. And so I just wanted to share that with you. And thank you so much for watching this video. You guys are awesome. If you wanna go ahead and like, comment and subscribe, it really, really, really helps my channel out. So if you could do that, that would mean the world to me. And I love you guys so much. Good luck. Bye.